In the last video we took care of making the wings. In this video I'd like to make the canopy. To do that I'll grab uh, plane 4. I think that's the latest plane, one of the latest planes that I've made. We'll create a sketch on that. And uh, when I draw a line you'll see you can't really tell uh, when the line is in versus out of the body. It's just kind of one of the more difficult things in the graphics. So uh, a little trick for that is I can make a three-point arc and we'll go with uh, midpoint vertical. Now because the inner shade is, uh, the inner region is shaded, you can pretty clearly see what part is in and what part is out so I know how to adjust my body so that I'm fully inside of, uh, or how to adjust my sketch so I'm fully inside of my body here. Let's get normal to the sketch and add some dimensions so that this sketch will be a little bit more easy to adjust. I go three quarters of an inch. Again, this of course is not to scale. Uh, it looks like I have to get rid of a coincident here. Now I can adjust. So this will be the starting sketch of my canopy. I want to keep this actually quite flat. And I'm going to move this up. Let's see if uh, looks like one inch. We're still inside the body. That's good. And go back normal. And you can see right where we leave the body. So we're going to do that. Here we go. Oh, inch and an eighth. And then I need to give this a width. 1.25 looks good. So we'll rebuild. I'm going to grab my next plane. I think it's uh, going to be plane number one. And that should be, if I turn on my, if I turn on my side view, then looking straight on, I can kind of tell that my plane right here is right about the horizontal point of that canopy. So let's make a profile there. We're going to sketch on this plane. I'm going to go with a three-point arc. Make sure that this handle is vertical and this handle horizontal. Try to match that image as closely as possible. And add a little line here just to make sure that we are in the body of the plane and there you can see that we are now that we've closed off and have a shaded region. I'll highlight here and see if I can grab the origin and choose a coincident relation to make sure that we are indeed centered. Now I've got the luxury of uh, making this for construction and as long as I move my mouse off the screen I can highlight everything and uh, there I've been able to mirror my entities. So that looks about right for our canopy. I'm rebuilding that. I can choose my next plane down. That would be here. So I'll choose to sketch on that. Now uh, I can't see the back of the plane very well due to the front view so Let's turn off the front view and uh, turn on the rear view. And there I can see that nice rib going in the back, and I want to make that. So nice, I have this center line from an inactive sketch. And it looks like the midpoint of that center line lines up with that rib pretty well. So I'll make a two point spline, and it looks like we can drag it straight down here. Uh, it can help to have the same number of sketch elements. So I'll plan on adding a vertical line as well. Making our handles uh, vertical and horizontal. 
maybe a little bit of a tighter curve if we uh, lengthen our tangent handles a little bit. So we'll go down here, up here, and we'll make a fresh construction line. Get out of the picture, highlight everything in the active sketch, and mirror entities. And there we have a sketch depicting our rib. It looks like we're a bit short uh, when looking on at the uh, at the side view, and that view is more important because the back view we're looking through a lot more layers. So we can adjust that. I'm going to get rid of that midpoint relation. I'm begin to move my sketch a little higher. Um, if I look at the top view, I can't see much. I think my body might be in the way, so maybe I can hide that body. Looking at the top view, my sketch is right around the right width. It's a little bit narrow, but we'll accept some proximity due to the fact that we're just sketching from images in the first place. So I'll show the body again. We'll rebuild the sketch. And I have one last sketch to do, and that's going to be I think on plane three there. So we're going to sketch on plane three. I'm going to hit control eight to uh, move my view to the back. And now for sure I can trace right around that rib. Looks like the rib maybe gets a little bit lower than what we've done before. So I'm going to move the end of my uh, spline maybe right on that surface. We'll move our tangent handle to be horizontal, our other tangent handle to be vertical. And we'll move that down and make sure we're going to be as vertical as possible. And again, to preserve the number of elements from profile to profile. And not all of our profiles have the same number, number of elements, but I think the important ones do. Highlight everything again and mirror. And there we have our final profile. As far as the loft goes, but we do need some guide curves. To remedy, uh, I'm going to add a point here and add a point at the midpoint right here. From here, I'm going to take a two-point spline and I'm going to draw this on the right plane. But we'll add a guide curve here to here. And I might as well put all my guide curve um, segments in now. Notice I am just snapping right onto uh, the points at which I've mirrored so that I know I'm dead center. If there's any question, you can also highlight a sketch element and use pierce, and it will pierce right to that center point. Uh, using control A, let's get normal. And I think I'm going to have a bit of a more aerodynamic canopy this time around. You can see that's a clear error. Uh, if I really wanted to address that, I would uh, add, create a new plane, or, you know, roll back my, my history tree, create a new plane to be about right here, and then loft from there. But uh, I um, I think I like what I'm seeing here, so I'm going to keep it. There we go. Uh, we're going to go, we're assuming that this is our horizontal point. So we made that, have the horizontal relationship. We're going to do a tangent relation so that handle is horizontal. And let's assume that this is a horizontal here. And I don't think we have to do much with that because we're horizontal already. Looks like we're just going straight back uh, relative to the image. So we're going to call that good. We'll, uh, whoops, not do that. Rather rebuild here. I'm going to do one more. Again, on the right plane. This will help keep integrity along the bottom. If I just create some two-point splines, uh, looks like both my handles are horizontal, but just to make sure, we're going to add horizontal here and 
horizontally there. And this also helps keep us uh, normal to profile. It's very convenient. And here, so I have a horizontal tangent on a plane that is perpendicular to my sketch, then I know that uh, I must be normal to my profile in those areas. So I'm going to say horizontal. This will be our final. I'm going to say horizontal here. And horizontal here. It looks like we've got a rebuild error. So I'll just delete that relation, but we know that that handle is horizontal anyways. So we'll rebuild that. Now let's go with features, boundary, and go from here to here to here to here. And now for my guide curves. And I'd probably do better if I could center that. Uh, we're going to go from here and here. It looks like we're uh, fitting that boundary quite well. So let's accept that. And uh, we have a nice transition into the canopy there. So that's uh, quite satisfying. I may want to and it's generally advisable to save your fillets to the end for several reasons. Uh, the, saving your fillets to the end can help with rebuild errors. It can help with uh, recomputes as you go through the design process. Uh, but if we wish, specifically so I don't forget, <laughs> I can uh, create a fillet that's getting to be quite large in the back. So. Let's go with something like 0.2, maybe 0.15. That, uh, that surface that we produce is smooth, symmetrical. It uh, makes for very easy fillet making. Uh, I really like the look of that. That's great. That is our canopy. Uh, so I think the next big things to do are the canards and the tail. And we can start adding some weapons and maybe some other details. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one where we have some more Rafael fun. See you then.